hello guys today we are starting our lecture number first of kinematics okay this course is specially designed for neat and j okay mass plus advanced is designed for mass uh, j mass or those who are interested in bit set and other uh, okay other exams okay other entrance exam so guys they can purchase these courses from our value uh, our website www.valuedupoint.com or you can purchase from our app you can download you can purchase here also okay so now for neat students they have go to neat v enthuse which okay neat v enthuse which you have to purchase this course and the uh, price is approximately triple five six okay so you guys you can start full course with daily practice problems assignment test everything you will get in this price guys okay and for j students they can purchase this course from here j v and Thuse batch okay again the price is same triple five six so you can purchase here or you can start your preparation with us i assure you guys you are from home you can select along with your 12 pass out no need to go in coachings no need to pay high fees okay your money is very important okay or if you are belong to a financially weak family so that is a matter big so today we are starting our lecture number first of kinematics so guys we are starting our formula is zero to up to that level that is sufficient to crack the exam okay we will focus we will go in this side okay up to zero level so need not to be worry about that you don't know we are starting basic from basics so uh, look at this guys first of all we define the term rest and motion okay for kinematics what the mean of kinematics kinematics okay related to motion if i talk about dynamics then it related to cause of motion okay guys this is cause of motion and the cause of motion we know that is force so in dynamic we will deal with force or in kinematics we will deal only motion so to start the motion first of all we know we should know the term rest and motion okay guys so for rest and motion we talk always about these terms with relative okay these are relative terms okay not are absolute Is it okay guys these are not absolute and what is the mean of this line okay guys look at this okay this is the our earth okay this is the our earth or you are sitting here in a city suppose that in bangalore you are sitting here and your one guy you see on the highway he is moving in this direction that is velocity v so you will say this and one observer here okay that is suppose that he sees uh, he uh, saw both the observers uh, sorry both the uh, person so uh, then what he will see one is on rest and the other one is moving so in this situation this observer we are assuming okay this observer uh, talking about the relative situation okay okay with respect to its uh, himself okay so this is the reference frame okay this is the reference frame so we always require to define motion rest and motion situation we require one reference frame or in absolute terms there is no rest there is no motion there is no rest okay 
everything is in motion why because this is the on rest but if you see in the solar system okay this is the our sun if you see in our solar system the earth is rotating the earth is rotating guys okay this earth is rotating around the sun so one guy is if sitting here he will see this person okay this suppose that this is the a person this a person also moving with respect to sun again sun is reference frame okay so when you change reference frame okay when you change reference frame so the definition the rest and motion will change okay guys so for defined to rest and motion that is relative terms we require some uh, one reference frame so in physics we deal generally with cartesian frame okay guys or you know that is very well the cartesian frame is we are read, uh, reading from the our childhood okay in smaller classes that is cartesian system three axis okay guys three axis so that is x axis okay this is the our x axis this is the y axis and this is the z axis okay or this is the origin o suppose that one point is here okay and the position vector we'll talk about uh, this is okay the position of this point p that will be x y and z is it okay guys so this op is the position vector of position vector of p is it okay guys similarly if talk about in in terms of theta okay that is polar system if talk about the theta we take 2d okay guys okay we can use another system that is in theta okay so suppose that suppose that one point is here okay and the angle from the this axis that is theta or this is the point p so the uh, or this is the the magnitude of this vector that is capital r so uh, the uh, the coordinate of this that will be comes out to be r cos theta and r sin theta is it okay guys so we can relate these coordinates from x y z also guys okay so this is the our polar system later on we will discuss this is the our polar system or this is guys our cartesian system is it okay guys is it okay one second this is our cartesian system okay So now guys what we have to do so we have understood what is the rest and what is the motion that is relative terms or we require an frame of reference okay we require frame of reference to define the whether the object is moving or object in objective uh, objective uh, object is at rest is it okay guys so now or you also understand the position okay in a reference frame what is the position and the coordinate of this position okay and again yeah the in the polar system and cartesian system okay okay this is the cartesian system now what we have to do we will discuss on the displace distance and displacement so this is very important topic guys easy but most of the people don't know what is the distance and what is the displacement so we uh, try to understand 
displacement and distance guys okay we will try to understand displacement and distance so uh, look at this diagram guys okay these are the four cities okay okay or we can say this is the quadrilateral root of our uh, root of our country okay these are the four major uh, major cities big cities okay guys so look at this this is the north north in north side that is delhi okay in north side the capital our capital that is delhi this is the delhi city okay guys here in west side that is bombay okay yeah mumbai okay guys or in south that is very important that is chennai or you can take bangalore etc or here in east kolkata is it okay guys suppose that one person is starting from delhi okay look at this guys very important uh, this will this uh, diagram will help you okay so much suppose that one guy is starting from delhi to bombay he started his journey from delhi to delhi to bombay okay guys now again he takes now again he takes this route to reach the Kol Kolkata. Okay, guys. Now he move towards Bangalore or Chennai. Okay, guys. Now again. Here is the Delhi. Is it okay, guys? So that is very important, guys. Okay. If you don't know, you will face problem, lot of problems. So now look at this. So I'm marking these points. Okay. So this is the point A. This is the point B. This is the point C. This is the point D. Is it okay, guys? So now the distance, what is the distance? So simply the distance is traversed path length. Okay, guys, traverse path length. And the feature of distance that is very important it is always positive guys it is always positive okay this is always positive guys it cannot be negative okay okay it cannot be negative is it okay guys so now to calculate the distance so the question is this person is start from delhi so how much he covered the distance okay he covered the covered the distance so the distance actual path line so guys first guys uh, that person is start from delhi he goes from delhi he went delhi to bombay now Kal kolkata bangalore and the Delhi final. Is it okay, guys? So now, so first the AB, AB. Suppose that the distance from Delhi to Bombay that is AB. Now he traveled Bombay to Delhi, and okay, B to D. Now D to C, Kolkata to Bangalore, and the C to a again chennai bangalore to delhi so this is the distance covered by that person 
is it okay guys but if i talk about the displacement okay guys if i talk about the displacement so what is the displacement what is the displacement displacement means the change in position guys okay change in position or we can say the x final minus sorry not we can x x only comes when the body going in one direction so generally we use r change in position and the change is position that is r minus minus r initial okay this is the displacement guys very important okay and the feature of displacement we can say okay it can be negative it can be zero okay or it can be positive okay so now use this formula guys it if you use this concept you will get displacement very easily so now the f initial position of that person that is we are assuming this initial position is zero okay so and the final position is again he comes or we use uh, the same this as for to show displacement okay so the initial position zero and the final position zero it means that that person does not displace okay so displacement is zero guys that is very important okay guys because he started his journey and he returns on same palace okay but if i talk about another example okay if i talk about another example in this case you can see particle uh, sorry we use another arrow that is not okay because we are dealing with uh, direction so we use single arrow in this case if suppose that one person is starting from point a and another person is starting point b okay is it important guys is it okay guys now in this case suppose that this distance is x okay so in this case the distance is x and also displacement displacement also x and the guys distance is a scalar quantity okay add one point more the distance is a scalar quantity and here the displacement is a vector quantity okay so to start the physics first of all you should know these scalar and vector quantities you can check uh, okay you can attend our lectures for vectors uh, basic mathematics that is very important to start the physics so displacement is a now we have to displacement uh, it is a vector quantity so in vector quantity one is magnitude the another one is uh, direction so remember this guy is very important uh, i am talking about that net displacement the displacement vector will be from initial position to final position okay guys one guy is here he displaces here so it's in this is the this is the this is the guys displacement vector okay or we can say x bar is it okay guys so it is very important uh, phenomena distance and displacement so distance is the or we can say dis uh, displacement is the shortest path okay shortest path so how can we understood this shortest path suppose that here is two places a and b okay one guy is directly come here in this route one guy is goes inside this root and when one guy is directly here so this is the shortest fast okay so this is the very important again okay this concept is also important shortest one so displacement is the 
shortest path so uh, so uh, write down these all uh, okay these all things in your notebook guys uh, make proper notes okay one by one uh, in sequence of uh, i told you okay otherwise you will confuse okay guys so it is very important uh, concept of distance and displacement because many guys confuse they don't know what is the distance and what is the displacement very easy guys but when you try so now we are coming the third uh, next one that is speed okay so now what is the speed and again what is the average speed and the instantaneous what is the mean of these two terms so for first of all speed we can directly write down the speed is distance okay the speed is distance upon time okay how much distance you cover in particular time that is termed as speed now we are talking about the average and instantaneous uh, speed guys okay so first of all okay uh, suppose that one guys okay one guys person a person a okay uh, in first 10 seconds he reaches okay suppose person a suppose that this place is this point is zero okay oh reaches from uh, or this is the p which is here in 10 seconds or it traveled some distance suppose that one kilometer or 100 meter now again he traveled some distance with uh, 200 meter and the time taken by 20 second okay or let's say 10 second let's say sorry let's say 10 second again he covered some distance let's say uh, 300 meter and the time taken is 20 seconds okay guys this is meter q and that is r is it okay guys now what is the average simply you know the formula of average the formula average is total quantity upon number of quantities that is the basic concept of average total quantities or we can say uh, total quantities or we can say the number of quantities it is the basic of uh, it is the basic of average now the total quantities here we can replace the f for average velocity we will represent here and again sorry speed not velocity guys sorry for that for average speed okay so average speed so the total distance here the total distance upon total time this is very important formula guys many students will confuse with this problems okay it is looking very simple but when you apply then you know the importance of this formula okay so now to calculate the average speed okay guys so average speed is equals to the total distance okay now the total distance suppose that the distance we showing distance s1 s1 plus s2 plus s3 and the time taken to cover the distance that is t1 plus t2 plus t3 is it okay guys 
is it okay guys so this is the very important formula okay this is the part of this formula okay this is the part of this formula the part of this formula guys this is the part of this formula so now look at this guys now in this case how we calculate average speed okay that will comes out to be p1 that is total distance that is s100 plus 200 plus 300 guys and the time taken by t 10 plus 10 plus 20 when you add that will comes out to be 600 okay and when you add that will comes out to be 4 okay guys and that will that will comes out to be 15 meter per second this is the average speed again the time is a scalar distance is a distance is also scalar the speed is a scalar quantity okay and always positive or zero okay this is always positive or zero and if we talk about instantaneous speed so guys uh, if you talk about instantaneous this is that uh, suppose that this is the t equals to zero or here t is equals to 10 seconds here t is equals to 20 seconds here t is equals to 30 seconds so if i talk about t equals to 10 seconds to here the distance so here the cover distance is 100 and the time is 10 so here the velocity will be 10 meter per second suppose that okay so we will use this instantaneous velocity in graph okay uh, or in derivation okay so for uh, average velocity okay so average speed okay average speed we can say delta s upon delta t okay and the instantaneous speed that will comes out to be if delta t is tends to zero okay i am talking about that moment so this will comes to be ds by dt is it okay guys this is the node displacement guys so remove this okay remove the vectors here ds by dt okay so ds by dt is the instantaneous speed and this is the average speed okay further we will uh, when we come in graph then i will tell you what is the average speed and what is the instantaneous speed in graphical point of view but here uh, remember these two formula for average speed or for the instantaneous speed average speed will comes out to be delta s upon delta t and the instantaneous speed that is equals to ts by dt is it okay guys so till now everything is clear now we will discuss about the velocity average velocity and instantaneous velocity okay guys so velocity in speed we return distance upon time okay in velocity we show that is this is the vector quantity first of all this is the vector quantity okay in vector two things magnitude and direction or it can be positive negative or zero okay so the velocity v that is equals to total dis, uh, displacement upon time is it okay guys that is equals to displacement upon time now we will talk about the average velocity okay so the average velocity we written in this format okay that will comes out to be here in last average speed that is total displacement total distance upon total time here total displacement upon total time will come
अपॉन टोटल टाइम इज इट ओके गाइस नाउ तो वी कैन राइट डाउन दैट इज डेल्टा एस बार डेल्टा एस वेक्टर अपॉन डेल्टा टी तो दिस इज द एवरेज वेलोसिटी गाइस वेरी इंपोर्टेंट फॉर्मूला ओके इट्स यू हैव टू नो द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ दिस ओके गाइस तो दैट इज वेरी इंपोर्टेंट So, uh, this is the average velocity formula okay and for instantaneous velocity when delta t tends to zero so this will be v instant that will comes to be ds by dt but uh, some student will ask sir in what is the difference between last and in last problem uh, in case of average speed delta s is coming but look at this guy this vector is coming okay so now we have to deal with vectors okay so for differentiation point of view remember these two formula and the graphical point of view we will discuss later on in graphs so i think you understood uh, the velocity concept and the speed concept and you know the basic difference uh, velocity and speed so guys uh, look at this okay the distance always greater than okay we can say the displacement okay its magnitude will be less than equal to distance okay either it equals to distance or it less than okay its magnitude i am talking about magnitude okay In, you know the function of mode the function of mode when you put minus or ne, my, plus x yeah, minus x it will give the always positive value again in case of velocity so guys velocity is also that is equals to or less than from speed so is is it important guys okay and the velocity is change of rate of displacement okay the velocity is change of rate of displacement is it okay guys so now we are coming our next topic that is acceleration okay so through problems we will discuss each and everything okay no problem but uh, first uh, we are to, uh, because since we are focusing on basics that's why we are talking about uh, the importance the meaning of terms okay so here what is the acceleration acceleration guys when the velocity will increase okay it may be constant rate or increasing rate or decreasing or decreasing rate then okay guys so what is the average acceleration similarly acceleration is acceleration is a vector quantity okay so to show the average that is used that is total velocity okay the uh, the average acceleration is delta v upon delta t okay guys this is the average acceleration average acceleration it is very important guys okay when we will deal on graph then i will tell you each and everything what is the importance and how can you deal with the help of graph when you use graph that is very important terms and then you will see what is the importance of this formula but right now to solve the numerical problems this is the important formula and again for instantaneous okay that will comes out to be when delta t tends to zero instantaneous that is dv by dt we will use these formula in numerical problems or using differentiation is it okay guys so very important concept remember these two formula 
okay guys again acceleration is the vector quantity okay and when velocity is constant then acceleration will be zero okay guys is it important because if velocity constant so here delta v tends to zero zero and the acceleration will be zero so what is the acceleration if you want to feel so you can feel easily when you start bike okay guys when you start when you start bike guys and when you increase the rest okay so this bike will be accelerate this bike will be accelerate when you increase speed okay when you increase speed suppose that from 0 to 80 kilometer per hour so guys you will see the you will feel acceleration or where net acceleration their net force net force will acting okay guys so that this is the basic terminology of acceleration and okay guys so acceleration is delta v by del t okay average velocity upon total time or instantaneous uh, instantaneous action that is dv by dt so now we are coming our next that is deceleration so deceleration is nothing guys when velocity decreasing okay at decreasing rate velocity decreasing okay so the acceleration will be negative okay so this terms as the negative acceleration is called as deceleration okay so we can say the deceleration will be suppose that the value of x, uh, this uh, that is minus x suppose that x is the value so the acceleration will be minus x so the deceleration will be x but i suggest you guys do not use this whenever you see this word so always go through this approach take acceleration is negative okay don't use this okay always use this concept okay acceleration when you see acceleration or retardation word so always use negative acceleration don't go this approach is it okay guys so this is the basic terminology this is the parameter to understand the kinematics okay so we uh, talk about the six parameters in which the position rest first in rest in motion then second is speed, uh, distance and displacement then speed and average speed and instantaneous speed and average velocity and instantaneous velocity and the average speed uh, average acceleration and instantaneous acceleration now guys we are going our uh, going to next to solve the problems so that whatever we learned till now we can understand applying this so now guys we are starting our problem number first okay so what is the uh, problem is saying in one second a particle goes from point a to point b okay in this follow circular path moving in a semicircular of radius one meter c figure the magnitude of the average velocity so we know the average velocity that is equals to guys okay this is the sign of average velocity total displacement upon total time okay again i am using delta x that is not okay here delta r will come okay guys so or we can say r minus minus r initial 
ओके तो दिस द इनिशियल पॉइंट ओके द पार्टिकल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम यर दिस इज द फाइनल पॉइंट ओके सो द डिस्प्लेसमेंट वेक्टर लुक एट दिस गैस वेरी केयरफुली द डिस्प्लेसमेंट वेक्टर विल बी फ्रॉम इनिशियल टू फाइनल अर्लियर वी डिस्कस ओके डिस्प्लेसमेंट वेक्टर विल बी इनिशियल टू फाइनल इज इट ओके गाइस फ्रॉम ए टू बी सो दिस इज द डायरेक्शन ऑफ डिस्प्लेसमेंट एंड द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ दिस डिस्प्लेसमेंट दैट विल बी डाया वो सॉरी हाँ डाया ऑफ दिस सर्किल that is equals to 2r okay radius is given 1 meter so the displacement will be 2 into 1 that is 2 meter okay and we know the time taken by this point from a to b that is 1 meter so the average velocity will be equals to guys 2 divided by 1 and that will comes out to be 2 meter per second this is the j equation okay guys this is the j equation the correct answer is so look at this guys the this problem is a person traveling in a straight line okay moves with a constant velocity v1 for certain distance x and with a velocity constant v2 for next equal distance so guys very easy problem how we will start suppose that the guy is starting from here this is the point a or he reaches point here that is point b Or a distance travel, some distance travel x, another distance m x. Here velocity v1, and here velocity v2. Suppose that here time taken is t1, here time taken t2. So now we know the velocity is equals to distance upon time. So we can write down the time is equals to distance upon velocity. Similarly. From here, time to t will t two will be x upon v two. Is it okay, guys? Now for the average velocity, that is v on total dis distance upon total displacement upon total time. So now, guys, the total displacement upon total time. Upon total time. Is it okay, guys? The total displacement is x plus x, and the time taken is t1 plus t2. So we replace the value t1 plus t2. That is x upon v1 plus x upon v2. Okay, here, guys. When you further solve it, that will be 2x upon x common 1 plus v1 plus 1 upon v2. Here, x is x cancel. So we'll you will get the final expression. That is 2 upon v when you send this uh, term here so this will comes to be 2 upon v and here denominator will comes upon 1 upon v1 plus 1 upon v2 so this is the correct answer okay b option is correct answer so now guys for next problem okay so look at this problems guys okay so this problem is very again is very easy problem velocity is given in terms of time and the distance travel by between first second to first and second second so now we know the velocity is the ds by dt okay the displacement upon time or when you write down we can write down this v dt by ds when you differentiate these two terms so we, uh, this will give the okay this will will give the v dt from t1 to t2 plus some constant c okay when you solve this this is the basic mathematics guys you have to learn otherwise it is very difficult t1 to 
Peter. Sorry, here T one two T two guys. Is it okay, guys? We know the velocity in terms of time, so that will comes out to be. Even we know the value of lower limit that is one second. Okay, so T is equals to from one second to two second. So now, guys, uh, put this value A T plus B T square into D T plus some constant C. We will find out this value. Okay. we will find out this value and last okay so now or we know okay sorry this c this c guys okay when you differentiate this okay at last we will put limit simply we are putting this expression okay simply don't no need to put uh, this when you put limit so this constant will not come simply differentiate okay simply simply integrate so not differentiate when you differentiate so a t square by 2 here b t cube by 3 plus some constant and the that is distance is it okay guys now look at this condition if i put t is equals to 0 then the velocity will becomes to 0 as the particle start from rest so here when put t is equals to 0 so s will comes out to be 0 so the value will be if you so here t is equals to 0 the velocity rest so as the displacement will be 0 so okay when you put these values this boundary condition use in this expression here is 0 And this terms will zero. This terms will zero. C. So the value of constant will be zero. Okay, guys. So now final expression. Now, guys, final expression. Uh, that is that comes out to be s is equals to a t square by two plus b t cube by So now we have to find out the distance time t is equals to one to two seconds. So simply we can say delta s. Okay, first put two. Two in this expression. So we have two t square uh, not put a. And when you put t, uh, t is equals to two seconds. So four square by two that will comes out to be two plus here two cube eight. So eight b by Three. Okay, minus. When you put one, so this will comes out to be a by two plus b by three. When you guys further solve it, you will get the final expression. Two a minus a by two that will be three a by two. Or eight b minus eight uh, b by three minus b by three that will comes out to c seven b by three. Okay, guys. So this answer will comes out to be correct answer. Is it okay? Is it okay, guys? Is it okay? Now we are going for next problem. Okay, we are going for next problem. Again, the displacement is in terms of time t. Now we have to the uh, we have find out retardation where velocity becomes zero. So first we find out velocity so that will be dx by dt directly we differentiate this term so the constant differential is zero and the differentiation of t that will be once one and the t cube that will be 3t square so the velocity will comes out to be 12 minus 3t square when you differentiate again next time that that will comes out to be acceleration that is dv by dt the acceleration of this term is zero and that will be minus 60 you can clearly see that time in time is always positive and this all terms will be negative so hence retardation occurring so now we have to find out the retardation at where the time uh, where the velocity will be zero okay so we put this expression zero is it okay guys we put this expression will be zero 
k so if i take 3 is common that will be 4 minus t square is equals to 0 again further 2 minus t 2 plus t so this cannot be 0 because time cannot be negative this cannot be 0 because this is the natural number so this expression is 0 so t is equals to 2 second will come when you put t is equals to 2 here the acceleration will comes out to be 6 into 2 that will comes out to be 12 minus 12 but he is asking retardation earlier we discussed the retardation is minus acceleration okay so here minus acceleration or we know the acceleration is minus 12 so retardation will comes out to be 12 meter per second square the answer, correct answer is d is it okay guys look at this guys this problems here x is given in terms of time okay so for differentiation you know the differentiation of x raised to power n that will equals to n x raised to power n minus 1 okay when you differentiate these terms with respect to time that will give the velocity okay that will comes out to be minus 1 t plus 5 raised to power minus 2 is it okay guys or we can say minus t plus 5 raised to power minus 2 again we differentiate these terms this will give the acceleration okay that will be dv by dt okay so this minus minus plus 2 and this will comes to out to be t plus 5 raised to power minus 3 okay we can say t keep t plus 5 raised to power minus 1 is equals to x so this will comes out to be x cube okay we can clearly see that the, uh, the distance the acceleration will be directly proportional to uh, distance raised to power 3 but now this option is not given here so now we convert velocity now we will try for velocity okay so look at this guys i am writing down this expression look at it here okay t very important guys look at this uh, i am writing down in this way okay 2 t plus 5 raised to power minus 2 or outside 3 by 2 i am writing down this directly minus v okay guys so minus need not to be a worry about minus a directly proportional to the velocity raised to power 3 by 2 is it okay guys so option number one is correct now for second question guys okay the x is given in terms of time he is asking for how long means we have to calculate distance and when the velocity will becomes to zero because coming in rest so first of all we calculate velocity directly differentiate with time the differentiation of 40 that is equals to 1 0 and 12 t the differentiation 1 and minus 3 t square so the velocity is equals to 12 minus 3 t square is it okay guys now is asking when body comes to rest it means the velocity will be zero when you put expression is equals to 0 if i take 3 is common 4 minus t square that is equals to 0 again by factorization this will this cannot be 0 this cannot be 0 so t is equals to 2 okay when you put t is equals to 2 in this expression you this will this will give the distance so that will comes out to be 56 meter is it okay guys now again first we are coming on the next question okay x is given here so before to solve this question uh, we have uh, we should know the basic uh, function uh, of mathematics okay so now look at this guy this is the t raised to power e raised to power t this is the exponential function this is the increasing function function cup when in increasing function when if you increase the value then this expression will be increasing for this e raised to power minus t this is the decreasing function okay guys is the 
decreasing function so this is the decreasing function when you put the value in increasing order of t so the the value of this function will comes out to be decreasing okay and the differentiation of this terms t e raised to power x with respect to x that will be e raised to power x this is the differentiation property so now x is given in terms of time e raised to power beta t when you differentiate this will give the velocity okay and the differentiation will comes out to be a e raised to power minus alpha t or that when you differentiate this this will come to minus alpha and plus beta b e raised to power beta t and beta okay so the velocity will comes out to be minus a alpha e raised to power minus alpha t okay and the plus b beta e raised to power beta t but this is the all positive or this is the increasing value so overall this value will be increasing and this is the okay this is value positive this is positive and this value also positive so the overall value negative but this negative value reducing because because guys this value is reducing okay this is the plus sign here okay this value is reducing why because this is the decreasing function so this value is reducing decreasing okay or this value is increasing so the overall value will be increasing the velocity is increasing when time increasing so the answer d is correct increase with time is it okay guys so without delaying we are going for next problem is it okay guys so the next problem is again x is, is given in terms of time the acceleration of the particle will be 0 at time t is equals to so here x is given so first of all at t square minus bt cube if i okay we will take differentiation so this will comes out to be 2 at t minus 3 bt square again so this is the velocity so again again we take differentiate this will give the okay uh, 6b t now what he asking the acceleration of the particle will be 0 at time t is equals to so this is the acceleration 0 okay so 2a is equals to 6b t and the time will be equals to 2a upon 6b and that will comes out to be that time that is equals to a upon 3b is it okay guys so here answer b is correct so now guys this is the again beautiful problem okay so here x is you know, t is given in terms of x so that is something is different and that is a good problem of j okay j advance okay guys so now what we have to do we have find out acceleration so the acceleration formula is that is different formula okay and the another formula is dv by dt so this is also acceleration formula that is a equals to v dv by dv dv by dx we will use this formula okay when velocity is given in terms of x but we will uh, first find out the velocity okay we differentiate this with respect to time this expression okay guys that is uh, gt upon dt is equals to here 2 a x or dx upon dt there is something here x will come so v dx by dt we know dx by dt that is velocity this will comes one okay dt by dt cancel out this one or we know the differentiation of t with respect to t that is one or we can say dx by dt I am taking common and we know dx by dt that is velocity is it okay guys plus here b will come and that is v and the velocity will comes out to be 1 upon 2ax plus v now we have to calculate dv by dx okay now velocity is in 
terms of x so we will calculate dv by dx and this will comes out to be minus 1 upon 2x plus b square for the inside that will be 2a so we will put in this expression the acceleration will velocity into dv by dx will minus 2 upon as look at this this expression and this expression is okay we can write down this expression is minus and we can write down this expression v square okay sorry sorry and not here we can write down we can write down this expression that will be v square okay when you solve this so this will be minus 2 a v cube so again this is the very good question guys okay so we will discuss later on this function we are still little bit discussing here okay guys good discussion guys okay here again velocity is given in terms of x or particle is located at x, x equals to 0 to at t equals to 0 we start moving along with positive x x direction okay so now we have to rate time and displacement don't worry guys we know the velocity is dx by dt that is alpha root x okay so by separation method what we do dx upon root dx upon root x and alpha dt integrate this term okay when you integrate this okay guys this will comes out to be alpha t okay plus c so that will comes out to be 2 root x alpha t plus c now x is equals to 0 t is equals to 0 okay guys for x equals to 0 t is equals to 0 and c is equals to 0 so we can directly write down 2 root x that is alpha t when you square these terms guys uh, so this will come 4x alpha square t square you can clearly see the x is alpha square t square divided by 4 okay so the displacement will be directly proportional to time square so the option number a is correct a particle is moving with velocity in this where k is a constant the general equation for its path path he is asking path so we know the velocity in x direction okay that is k y okay and the velocity in y direction that is k j we can write down the x direction velocity dx by dt plus is equals to k y is it okay guys again we will take y as a constant okay so this will give the result x is equals to when you differentiate that will be k y t plus some constant c 1 again we can write down this expression dy by dt in kx when we take x here constant so y will comes out to be kx t plus t. this time i am taking c1 here 0 okay okay sorry remove this one second so write down up to here okay guys now what i am do i am dividing this equation one and this equation two what i am dividing the divide equation two divide by one so that is dy by dx the when you divide by in this dt will cancel out so this will comes out to be x upon y is it okay guys now what you have to do 
you can cross multiply that is y dy or x dx when you differentiate this this will comes out to be y square plus x square plus some constant okay guys so the option b will comes uh, will be correct answer so now guys this is the end of lecture first of kinematics okay uh, how you like this lecture please rating this lecture okay rating this course or you can start our preparation with us okay we will cover each and everything of j and beat and other state level state or national level entrance examination for medical and engineering okay for medical and engineering you can clear entrance examination with us and you can also prepare for kvpy ntpc okay guys and uh, other bit set examination okay your state uh, your csir agriculture examination okay so you can start preparation now you can purchase our courses from our value uh, value at .com, our website and you can download our app from play store okay and you can purchase our j and Q's for engineering students or neat and Q's for medical students okay guys thank you so much